a year's ban wasn't just harsh, it was way over the top. I was absolutely certain that uh, Steve Smith would. One I was a little more curious about was David Warner. Some tests last five days. Theirs lasted two years. Reputation broken. Character questioned. All eyes were on them, waiting for them to slip. Because that's part of the drama, isn't it? That you did something you shouldn't have done, and then how do you come back? So it will, it will trace that journey. It's a journey that uh, you otherwise wouldn't have seen as closely. So, you know, you look at, you look at Smith, you look at Warner, you look at the whole journey back. Uh, it's compelling, but it's also true. So it, it's a reality show that is real. That is pressure. When the weight of the nation meets the eyes of the world, you either tough it up or tough it out. Hardly watch. Oh, he's done it. I was absolutely certain that uh, Steve Smith would, simply because he eats, breathes, drinks cricket. He would have spent a year planning his comeback. So I had, I had no doubt that he would. My only. I just didn't know how long it would take him. I didn't know what his mental state would be, what his confidence level would be, what it would be not to be captain anymore, but just turn up. But because he's got, uh, he's got this obsession with the game, I didn't have much doubt about, about Steve Smith. He's a very, very special player. Very courageous and brave from Steve Smith. Still building. an incredible shot having just come back in. One I was a little more curious about was David Warner because he's a little more fiery, he's a little more temperamental, he's... You know, I, I didn't know how he would come back. Some days he's the Reverend, some days the Terrier. So I didn't know how he would come back. Uh, of, of his ability there was, never was any doubt and the fact that he was being missed there was never any doubt but I was a little more certain about Smith because I thought he was stronger temperamentally than Warner was. And build a team out of you blokes. Lane is getting piled on the Aussies now. Cummins, this is Australia. It was Justin Langer, the coach, who was very different temperamentally from Darren Lehman, who was the earlier, who, earlier coach, who was one of the boys, who was always a little, you know, he was very friendly, but loud, had a beer in his hand, chatted the way the boys did. Justin Langer was a very different kind of person, so. Uh, L Langer's role there would have been to get Australia back to the way you knew they were and it didn't surprise me at all that he had Steve Waugh in the Australian change room travelling around the Australian side at the time because Steve Waugh stood for what Australian cricket stood for, tough, hard, under, you're not getting an inch there. So Langer and Steve Waugh came from the same school and so I think their role, Steve Waugh's role not documented as much as Langer's, uh, th those were two key roles. If it was a cricketing decision alone, then a year's ban wasn't just harsh, it was way over the top, given the gravity of the offence that was, that was committed. At that point, the ICC rule was one test or two one-day internationals. Players had been docked that for, for trying to uh, alter the condition of the ball. But because he was Australia's captain, what it meant to Australian society, yeah, it is, I mean, if, for a purely, if it was a cricketing reason, it was over the top. For what it meant to Australia and its people, it's, it's something they know better, but uh, I think it was more that than a cricketing decision. He was given the Allen Border Medal because of what he did on a cricket ground after he came back. I've always believed once you've served your sentence, then you should be welcomed back because everybody has a right to. There was uh, an offence, there was a misdemeanour, there was a punishment. You've done both, now you should come back with a head held high. But it was an interesting choice that because he couldn't score a run in England, couldn't score a run to save his life in England went back to Australia and there the run started to flow again. So it just showed how good he was back in Australia that he won the award in spite of uh, how, uh, how dire his form was in England. <laughs>